three Academy Award winners, and one boring ass movie. Here is your review for The Little Things, right here on Movies in a Nutshell. The difference is, I'm doing it for me. It's the little things, Jimmy. It's the little things that rip you apart. It's the little things that get you caught. Hello and welcome to Movies in a Nutshell, where we talk about movies in a quick way so you can get on with your day. I am your host with the most, Detective Artemis, and before we go on, you hit that thumbs up button because I know it, you know it, Buffalo Bill knows it. You really want to like this, please? Do you like my shirt? I know you do. Head on over to QWorldMedia.com for your own sexy movie melee merch. Once you do purchase it, make sure you take a picture of yourself wearing it and then tag us so we can post it on our social media platforms. Yeah, you're welcome. Today our movie will be The Little Things. In this video, we'll be talking about spoilers, so if you haven't seen The Little Things yet, hit that watch it or button on this video, go and watch the movie on HBO Max, and then come back in and join the discussion. Go! Or if you don't care about spoilers, sit back and let's talk. Written and directed by John Lee Hancock, who's done movies like The Founder and Saving Mr. Banks. I'm also being told that he was one of the people who signed the Declaration of Independence. Not bad, Mr. Hancock. Comes the story of murder and obsession. Our story here is about a former detective now turned deputy sheriff named Joe Deacon, played by the legendary Denzel Washington. Deacon is called to collect some forensic evidence to a murder that was really similar to the case that he couldn't solve back in his day. Now, obviously, if I were on the case, I would have solved it immediately because I am the world's greatest detective. And also, I might have had help from my Google assistant, but that's not the point. He's basically Watson. Deacon then meets another crappy detective by the name of Jimmy Baxter, played by Rami Malek, who to me had the best performance of the the movie. So together, along with Deacon's experience, they try to catch the serial killer. We also learn about Deacon's haunted past which came from the obsession of that case he couldn't solve. It even led to a couple of heart attacks and divorce. Now I've been down a similar path before because one time I tried to figure out who ate my leftover chili cheese fries, only to find out that it was my drunken self the night prior. They always return to the scene of the crime. They eventually come across Jared Leto's character named Albert Sparma. Here Jared is playing a sleazy, creepy douchebag but really, I'm sure he's just being himself. They bring him in as a suspect, but unfortunately, they don't have anything concrete on him. But they do know he's gotta be the killer, right? I don't know. Now we get to the problems that I had with the movie. First, it starts off slow, then it gets interesting, and then again, it gets all over the place, and then ends with the shitty payoff. I kept falling in and out of sleep because I just didn't care anymore. I couldn't deal with the teases of Albert actually being the killer or not. Was he? Wasn't he? I don't know. I think he was. And I get it, that's the point of the movie, obsession is bad. But goddamn, I hated it. Although they did find some of his fake teeth that he used to bite one of the victims to sort of throw the cops off his trail. I mean, that's what I gathered. And again, I am the world's greatest detective. Also, the reason why they started to suspect him was because they found some roast beef in one of the vegan victims. And the fact that he too also eats roast beef. Well, goddamn, I eat roast beef too. Hell, I love Arby's. Although I pay for it hours later on the toilet. But damn, it's still a fun ride. Now, this part of the plot seemed pretty contrived. Then Deeg showed the beef to Baxter saying that hey it's all about the little things it's all about the little things and how they can get you caught all right calm down good Charlotte also I hate the title of the movie the little things you wouldn't expect that it'd be a, a dark noir murder mystery no instead it sounds like a British chick flick or the documentary of my sex life Terrible, all around. If you wanna watch a better movie of that same genre, then watch Seven. Everything about that movie is worlds better. And plus, my dad's in it, so support his work. Unless it's World War Z. Dad, come on, what were you thinking? What's in the box? What's in the box? The movie ends when Baxter is being trolled by Sparma, thinking he found one of the bodies. So in a fit of rage, Baxter kills Sparma by hitting him in the face with the shovel. Although playing some 30 seconds to Mars probably would have been more effective. Deacon later sends a piece of evidence to Baxter, giving him that closure that he needed so he didn't go down that same dark obsessive path that Deacon did, costing him his life and his family. Well, almost his life. It's a couple of heart attacks. Except that Deacon actually sends him a replica of the evidence, so... Everything was bullshit and all our time was wasted. Thanks a lot, Mr. Hancock. Now it is time to rate the movie, so let's bring out the ratings bar. We have awesome must watch, damn fine movie, good dumb fun, watch your board, and avoid at all costs. 
To me, this movie had a good cast and a good premise, but unfortunately, the execution of it sucked. I hated the pacing, Jared Leto was trash, and I hated the ending, although I did like the score. It was really hard to invest in the characters, and when I eventually did, my stock fell harder than GameStop. It just wasn't worth it. So I hereby declare the little things, watch near board. Eh. So what did you think of The Little Things and which movie do you want me to review next? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to this amazing channel. I am Detective Artemis and we got roast beefs, we got strippers, we got hookers. Damn homie, y'all don't know how lucky you are.